Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over whether this series diverges or converges, and I'll do so by using the limit comparison test. So let's begin by looking at a different infinite series. That is, let's look at the series from 1 to infinity of 5 over n. This is a geometric series. with r equal to one-fifth, which is less than one, so it converges. And now let's find this limit, that is, let's find the limit as n approaches infinity of one over five to the n minus three to the n divided by one over five to the n. While well, rewriting, this becomes a limit as n approaches infinity of 5 to the n over 5 to the n minus 3 to the n. And notice these have a 5 to the n in common. So let's divide the top and the bottom by 5 to the n, which is equivalent to, say, multiplying the top and bottom by 1 over 5 to the n. This leaves us with the limit as n approaches infinity of 5 to the n divided by 5 to the n. And you don't need to do this on your own paper. I'm going into more detail to make sure no one misses what's actually happening here. Divided by 5 to the n over 5 to the n minus 3 to the n divided by 5 to the n. This is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 divided by 1 minus 3 fifths to the n power. Now, as n approaches infinity, 3 fifths to the nth power will approach 0. So this limit is just 1. Now we can write our conclusion. We know that this has to converge since this limit of their ratios here is not equal to 0. It's equal to some finite value. So we know that both have to converge. So both of these have to converge. That tells me that this one converges. So let's go ahead and write our conclusion. Okay, so again, since this limit is equal to one, both of these series must converge or diverge. Of course, we already know that this series here converges since it is geometric. So again, since we already knew this series converges, then now by the limit comparison test, we know that this series also converges.